If you haven't seen the last video, I was talking about fixing the brake line that's broken underneath the gas pedal. So today, I gotta clean the interior of this car out and I gotta, uh, I gotta fix that line. Let's take a look at that. So here it is. You can see the line. Push a little, uh, so you see the brake fluid coming out of there. So you can see that. So yeah, I'm gonna take it off the master. I might run all the way back or I might just uh, splice it in over here with some connectors. So uh, yeah, I'll see. I'll see which way I wanna do it. I'll see how bad it is underneath the carpet. But for now, I gotta vacuum this thing out. It is uh, pretty dirty in here. Again, the car sat for a long time. It's a mess in here. There's a little bit of mildew. So some of you might have never seen this rare OEM shift knob. You know, if anybody wants it, you know, just make a great addition to someone's someone's rat ride or something, just anything. So yeah, drop a comment. Could be yours. There's a little bit of what's going on. As in the last video, I was talking about the regulator is uh, bolted to the floor. I got a new one of those. When I say new, I mean used. And uh, we're gonna put that one in, not back there, obviously. We're gonna put it uh, right here. So we got this center console. I gotta get out. I'm not a fan of these at all. I know you can hold the drink and whatever else, um, but it's coming out. And I gotta clean out the, the carpets, take the carpets out anyway. So to get to that brake line. So it's coming out. Like I said, anybody wants this, throw me a comment. Whoa, we got a little mousy, little mousy nest. At least it's not a hotel, just a house. I'm gonna get the seat out. Let's see how hard this is. Oh. Wow. That was really easy. Tight squeeze. So I gotta get some uh, some new low back seats. The adjuster knobs to uh, flip it forward and uh, adjust the back, they're both broken, the cast on them is broken, uh, driver's side and passenger side. So, I need some new low backs. I know the car is supposed to have high backs, but I'm not a high back fan, so it's getting some low backs. Yeah, the carpet's wet. It's been wet for some time. Carpet's still mint though, but I gotta take the whole carpet out. We gotta dry that, uh, clean up the floor. Just a little surface for us, but really, not really, really not much at all. But this will be all fine after it dries. Put it all back in, but I gotta take the seat belt clips off, the other seat out. I think that's about it. Maybe these little, these plates, to get the rest of the carpet out. But uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. sound dampening stuff was soaking wet and it's been drying for a few days now so it's all good I vacuumed it the floor is just still solid this is the the worst spot it feels a little a little flimsy but I'm gonna pour 15 the whole floor just uh you know make it a little uh, a little stronger here so it doesn't rust again and only rusted because water was getting in here from the sunroof, not having a seal. So this is the brake line I'm gonna take out today. Uh, it's pretty rough, it's 
it's actually not, I don't know why I said rough, it's junk. So to about, right about here somewhere, I'll probably cut it. I'm gonna, I'll put a union, I'll put it, put it in right there. The rest of the line is mint, there's nothing wrong with it. All the way back, it's, it's good. Underneath the car, it's good. Where it connects to the other union. The seat brackets are all, all solid. And as you can see, that is the earlier seat brackets. All in all, like I said, the car is in great shape. So I'm gonna cut this line right about here. I have a big piece of line. I'll feed it through and rebend it. I'll probably cut it a little further back, but for now, I'm gonna cut it right here. So someone wants to buy this car. Um, I don't know, I don't know what to do. But yeah, I had a guy approach me, came here for some MK1 parts. And he saw this, wanted to buy it. Called me back the other day. He's like, what's going on with Bumblebee? He's like, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to sell it. So he really wants it. I'm still on the fence. I don't know. You can comment. Tell me what you think. Should I keep? Should I sell? I don't know. It's a solid car. So that's the only only thing kind of like keeping me on this one to keep it. It's leaking a few different places underneath the pedal too. Well, it's coming out, so we'll have no leaks. That was easy. We save that so we can bend it the right way. There we are. So I got the line in. It's all good. Going right back to about here. There's the connector. And I'm going to cut the line here. Bubble flare it. Tip in. Right here. Good to go. Rest of the line is good. I hope the bleeders and the drums are good. I'm going to spray them now with a little bit of PB blast and uh, let them sit while I'm finishing up this. And we get on that, fill up the system, start bleeding. To make sure you put the fitting on first. Do the bubble flare, then you can't put the fitting on. Honestly, a lot of people make that mistake. Bubble flare, so you gotta use the flat side, not the bevel side. Double check it. Yeah, good. good. Tighten that down. Go tight, you don't want that thing moving on you. you don't want to move it when you're trying to make a flare. Should be good. There it is. There it is. So I'm going to leave it. I'll button it up. So apparently there's a Beetle up on the hill over here. I've actually knew about this car for about 15 years now. And my buddy, Mike right here. What's up? Uh, he reminded me that this Beetle is still here. So here we are. We're going to check this out. It's up, up on the hill. Oh, it's still there. 
check it out. Yep, we're gonna go. If we don't get shot. Ugh. We're doing some covert options in here. Oh yeah. There it is. What year is that? The seventies. Oh, it's in the ground. Look. Oh, it has some stripes on it. Oh, look at those mutters, mutters it has. That looks like on a sunroof. Oh, this might need to be rescued. We might need to. I think that's the house up front. We might have to go talk to this. would be a little difficult to get out. But we might we might need to save this. Maybe we need to yeah, just roll it right down onto the trail. No, I'm I'm digging I'm digging this. We got anything else here? I don't see any other ones, but I think this one's gonna have to I don't know. I think we might have to see about this. I can't tell it it's definitely a standard beetle, it's not a super beetle. It's gotta be at least 70. Oh yeah, what do you think people? I think this needs to be rescued. I think so. To be continued. <laughs>